everyone. It's been great getting to know you through your discussion posts, through your emails, and some of you I've had the pleasure of talking to. So I did receive a couple of questions on the next assignment, assignment 6-1. So I thought I'd share a video answering some of those questions and helping you to get started. So in the last video, I shared that we are creating a foundation of knowledge that you're going to build upon. So if you think about the first assignment, you shared a system that was personal to you. And some of you shared making a cup of coffee or loading a dishwasher. And what you might have noticed when you looked at the system or when you looked at my feedback, I shared that once you added the person, you added a feedback loop. So I want you to go back to that assignment, take a look at it, take a, take a look at my feedback, because again, we are building a foundation of knowledge. So when we look at this system, let's think about how we're going to start this project, right? It's a, it's a big assignment. So the first thing I want you to do, take it one step at a time, start by defining those concepts because we're going to use them in the assignment. And then what I'd like you to do is role play in the assignment. Make as if you are the technologist walking into Lost Pines Outfitters. I think it helps students a lot to visualize it. And it's kind of fun because it's looking at your life as a technologist. So look at the prompt and what it says. So in this one, it says when a customer places an order through LPO's online portal, the order is sent directly to the warehouse. So we know the customer is placing an order. The warehouse associate uses a single computer to track incoming orders. And then they talked about inventory as well. So where do we start with this? And while I'm not going to share the diagram, what I do want to do is talk about where to start. So, you know, right now I have my PC up and this is the single computer, right? That the warehouse associate uses. So if you put this on your diagram first, you have a, you have a starting point. We talked about the customer too. So again, if you put this on the diagram, you have a starting point. So I want you to, if you visualize it this way, start by placing the computer on your diagram. Start by placing the customer on your diagram. So if you need any additional help, please call me but it's a good place to start.